prevention, because I think that's something actually that FAR has focused right. on. Uh, and, and the reason I say that is because so often we're really talking about, you know, we know we have a problem, how do we measure it, how do we you know, try and fix it, what's the long-term solution. One of the best long-term solutions is prevention. Let's make sure that those young kids who shouldn't be drinking don't start. Don't, right. You know, and if it ever happens, make sure it stops then, right? Same thing when you're trying to do assessment. You know, that's a prevention. Let's make sure people get to the right treatment. If we're going to take the time and resources, you know, to try and help them with the solution, let's prevent them ending up just part of the system again and again. So I just wanted to highlight, I think, that, you know, one of the best solutions is never to have the problem in the first place. <laughs> and so focusing on the prevention side is actually a pretty critical element. Same thing holds in drunk driving, drugged, distracted, drowsy. Prevention really needs to be a focus for all of us. We've got to start counting not just lives lost, but lives saved. Not just the crashes and injuries, but the crashes prevented. In the technology side, I've pointed out every time someone says, oh, hard breaking. But if that was a hard breaking that saved a life, right. then you got to count that. You know, and, and that's a totally different way for our culture to think about these things. And, and so I think we need new safety metrics, not just for new technologies, but for all of the road safety issues we're going after, we need new ways to be thinking about this um, because I just, you know, I think we're stuck in a lot of, and it's not that we give up the old ways, no, right, but how do right. we improve? Right. And safety innovation means looking to the future. So NHTSA has been around 50th anniversary this year. Ah. And everything that's been, you know, done for the last 50 years has made a difference. We need to absolutely both identify and enhance but we can't keep doing just the last 50 years worth of activities. Right. We've got to look to the future. That means new technologies, new programs, and clearly new metrics to figure out how we're doing.